Well, we usually hear the question, do you know who your kids are talking to online? Yeah. Here's another one, though. What about our moms and dads? Scams targeting older individuals are rising, and the fraudsters are using romance and the Internet to take their money. But NBC10 Responds is here to say to you and your family, don't become a victim. <laughs> she was my best friend. Meredith McGonigal Alberto lost her best friend last April when her mom, Felicia, passed away. She was a funny lady. She had good energy. When Meredith started clearing out her mom's belongings, she discovered her mom was keeping a secret. Dozens of gift cards. The increments were like $50, $50, and it just started to add up. She also found out her mom sent someone money through apps and maxed out a credit card. How much do you think potentially she lost? I, I would say it could be anywhere from twenty to $50,000. Her mom believes she was in a relationship with someone she was chatting with on Instagram. Meredith knew about the chats, but didn't know Felicia was spending that kind of money. And I tried to convince her that it wasn't what it was or what she thought it was, that it was somebody, you know, pretending to be somebody, and she kind of just blew me off like it was a joke. The FBI reports an uptick in elder abuse crime, losses totaling more than $1 billion in 2020. If the person on social media is asking you to send them money or asking you to send them information, that should be a red flag. Jason Zirkel is with the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. He says if you think your loved one is the victim of a scam, don't blame them, don't shame them, talk to them about what's going on, and show them the fraud warnings on the FBI's website. So it may be that they are more willing to listen if, it, if the warning comes from a federal agency and not their adult child. In her last hours, Meredith's mom still believed the scammer. I still really love you, my baby boy. I really do and always will. Meredith warns all of us, check on your parents. I don't want this to happen to somebody else's mom. So hard to hear her tell the story. Now, the AARP suggests checking an aging loved one's credit report for any signs of fraud, newly opened accounts, denials of credit that they didn't apply for. The FBI says if you or a loved one is the victim of a fraud, file a police report. You could also file a report with the FBI at ic3.gov. We'll post all that information as well as the FBI's fraud warnings all on our website for you, NBC10.com slash responds under the helpful links section. As always, if you have a consumer problem that you cannot get resolved, call us here at NBC10 Responds. Those are the numbers. We can help you in English or Spanish or fill out the complaint form on our website.